Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the channel and today we're out here in the Granite Dells again and I've decided to do some more videos concerning Ground Station Pro from DJI. Uh, given how many people have actually stopped by the channel recently and checking out information on Ground Station Pro, I was extremely surprised. I didn't realize that so many people are actually using GS Pro or want to use GS Pro. I thought it was kind of really a niche market since you've got to have an iPad uh, and that you can't use an Android phone or an iPhone, and that it was iPad specific. But since I did my initial uh, 3D modeling uh, video a couple weeks ago, we've seen over a thousand people pop through, and we've seen a lot more people joining up on the channel. So I really appreciate that and thought I'd continue along. So today we're going to look at some of the basics connected to Ground Station Pro. So I've got the iPad hooked up to my Mavic 2 controller, and I've actually got the Mavic 2 sitting right down here, and we'll see it take off in just a few minutes. But I just got into Ground Station Pro, and it starts out with the new uh, menu area where I've got my personal space, and then I've got my My Missions button, and I also have my drone listed here as well. Now, one of the things that I think a lot of people miss out on is the fact that Ground Station Pro, you can fly your drone just like you do with the DJI Go 4 app. So I'm going to tap on my missions. It's going to bring me to the mission window. But beyond bringing me to the mission window, I can also actually control the drone from here. In the lower right-hand corner of the screen, there is a little drone symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that drone symbol. And we've got a small screen, a small-scale screen, seeing what the camera is seeing. If I pop that up, check this out for a moment here. So... I need to get myself into the shade to take a look at this, but doesn't this look really familiar? It really does because this is very similar to the interface of the DJI Go 4 app. Up on the top bar, we've got the home button. We've got Mavic 2 Pro listed as the connected drone at the moment. The mode that we're in is in GPS. We've got 16 satellites. We've got good connectivity from the drone to the controller. We've got good video connectivity as well. And right now we're looking at 49% battery and 99% battery on the iPad. So if you wanted to just go and start flying around as you normally would, let's say with Ground Station Pro, you absolutely can start flying with this. You don't have to put in one of your pre-programmed missions. So if you'd like to use Ground Station Pro as your everyday flyer on your iPad, you absolutely can. And what we're going to do here in a moment is actually get this off the ground and we'll play around with that. So one of the other things, I'm going to switch this to autofocus. There we go. And I just wanted to have autofocus on there. Now, let's take a look in here. There's some things missing. All of the uh, fancy, cool little toys that DJI includes, the, the different shot modes, those aren't on here. So we're missing that on the left-hand side uh, completely. But we still can do most of the other things that we could do with Ground Station or with uh, DJI Go 4 app. My apologies for that. On the right hand side, we've got our little slider buttons as usual for our photo modes. So we can be in full auto, we could go to aperture priority, shutter priority, or full manual. On the next tab, our camera tab, we've got our capture mode. We've got our image size and we've got our format. I'm gonna switch that to raw because I usually like to shoot in raw when I'm doing still photography. We've also got our white balance for sunny day. And then we finally have um, our autofocus assistant, manual focus assistant. Front LEDs are turned on, no grid on there right now. And we can format our SD card as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and format that SD card. When I'm done there, I can actually close that window up. But most everything else looks the same. By the way, let's go back to our shot mode here and see what we've got in here. So we can do single, multiple, bracketed, and time shots. I'm gonna set this up for AEB because I'm gonna do some HDRs on my computer later. So there we go. We are all set to fly. I have already submitted my Lance request. Uh, for the FAA, and I've already gotten my confirmation back. So I put in that I'd be flying for an hour with a maximum elevation of 200 feet above ground. By the way, up here next to the airplane symbol, 
we've got some of our account settings. So we've got our aircraft settings right here. We could calibrate the compass. We've got our fly zone manager and we have our app settings. You'll notice that we don't have information in here like we do in the Go4 app for changing around our altitude. And that's okay because we can actually do return to home altitudes in our mission planners as well. But I'm good to go, I'm ready to fly, so let's get this up into the air really quick. And I'm just stepping back from where the drone's at. Now this is not going to be a full flight, and the reason why this is not gonna be a full flight is because the battery level is low. I decided to go ahead and drain um, this particular battery, and then we'll switch to another battery afterward for the next video that I'm going to be doing. So right now, I'm just getting the drone out above the rock formations here in the Granite Dells, and I was thinking maybe we could get some nice photos. One of the really nice things with using Ground Station Pro and using the iPad as well is the size of the screen. Uh, working with a screen this size is pretty awesome, and when you're using a small iPhone or Android, you don't get to see everything um, from this kind of perspective. So having the larger screen is definitely something that I enjoy. By the way, just like our standard DJI GO 4 app down on the bottom bar, you'll see altitude is at 258 feet right now. So I'm going to take that altitude down just a bit because I had submitted and said that I'd be around 200 feet. So since that's what I submitted, I'll keep myself at that elevation. There we go. All right, so I'm ready to actually take a couple photos. So I'm going to work on an HDR panoramic. So first, let's get that photo taken. And there is my first set of five. You might have heard that, one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to turn the drone just a little bit because we are trying to build a pano here. So second series. And I think I will do a third series. So like I said previously, we don't have all the cool DJI shot modes on this one. Um, this is definitely more commercial oriented, so keep that in mind. I'm actually flipping screens really quick. I just want to see, here we go. All right, just getting my bearings here. And you'll also notice that on the screen, I do not have my map at the moment. The reason I don't have the map at the moment is because I am not connected to the internet. So as I'd mentioned before in a previous video, Ground Station Pro really wants to be connected to the internet. It loves the internet. And unfortunately, we're not going to let it have that today because I'm using the iPhone right now to actually film this. I'm setting up for one more HDR pano here. And I'm just going to turn that to there. That's looking very good to me. And I think that should be good. What's the battery level at right now? We're at 36%. So, like I said, this is just a quickie intro, and I wanted to point out to you that you could, in fact, fly your drone normally without doing your missions and use the DJI GO 4 app. So with that in mind, this might be your go-to app, especially with the different features. If you're doing 3D modeling or you're wanting to do waypoint missions, this might be exactly the application that you want to use. All right, I'm going to bring this in and get it landed before the battery alarm starts going off. We'll swap out batteries, and then I'm probably going to work on one more video today and that video is most likely going to be about doing a waypoint mission and actually setting yourself up for some interesting cinematic styles and also a few thoughts on other things that you can do with waypoint missions. So I hope you found this one informative. Like I said, very similar to the DJI Go 4 app if you're piloting a DJI product. We don't have all of the cool little features, but we have enough to make use of Ground Station Pro for day-to-day -day flight as well as doing mission planning.